the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter number 19. And behold, and behold, one came and said unto him, One came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? One. And he said unto him, yes. Why callest thou me good? Mm -hmm. There is none good but one, that is God. All right. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He said unto him, Which? Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, right. thou shalt not commit adultery, mm -hmm. thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, right. All these things have I kept from my youth up. Mm -hmm. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go. And sell that thou hast, yes. and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. My God. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, <coughs> for he had great possessions. Thank you, thank you. The last two verses you read. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, thou wilt be perfect. and go and go and sell that thou go hast. And sell that thou hast. And give to the poor. Give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come and follow me. Thank you. Thank you. I was all excuse. All or nothing at all. My Lord. This topic might not be as simple as it sounds. We're living in a time when people are guilty of a gross miscalculation of what the word of God. Me, what did that say? My God. You know the situation of this predicament of this young man. He was seen as almost super religious. And quite uh, conscientious. And so he was disturbed about his uh, spiritual plight. And he said that, all right, uh, I want to know what must I do to inherit eternal life. And he went on to tell him, to him. But I trust that you will focus in and check the gravity of this passage and those that will inspire. All right? <clears throat> Said that uh, Jesus gave him an edict and said that. Uh, you know the commandments and what not. In the situation here, you didn't know the extent of it. All right? Now, that, that I don't know what it does. <coughs> some people think that uh, they'll say this because they don't, uh, not engage in uh, general uh, immorality. I don't know, I, I, I got one mic and nobody else, and I'm still not on the other. I want you to check with it. All right? So he says, now I've kept all those. Come on, you love it. What I got yet? I'm, I'm not satisfied. And say, God won't satisfy you in the session. Make you feel something that you don't really have. Now, people have their own emotions concocted, self concocted. But, but the Lord will not give no clear witness. Now, we might claim it the way we choose to do. But here we go. All right? Now, I said, I've kept all of those. But now here, that was not all. Now, how many people in the same predicament, they have done so many wonderful things, glorious things, to get the and all of the people. And by, amen, uh, the estimation of many and themselves, we have been on, uh, in cloud nine,
what would you be saying that most people have a limitation? Yes, sir. Yes, they do. And then might might not have been reached, you might be rejected already because you are thankful highly yourself. But you didn't have an assessment of God yet. All right. You know, and then now, uh, I've done those things diligently. I was loyal to those. You know, but uh, that's, is, is there anything more? I'm still not satisfied. If God will satisfy you, teach you right. Or the other. I mean, fully, fully. I don't mean uh, just sitting here, uh, some uh, letters that are written here, this kind of thing. And, Right. He said that, all right, man. now you're going to be all or nothing at all. Here's the deciding factor. But now here's the situation. I'm telling you this. Please, please. Hope not to you long, but please. All right? He said, all right. Now, you go all the way to all or nothing to do and you make no difference. All of you, you, your morality, and all the truth and all about what I don't do and how, how much I walk and how much I pray and how much I fast. That, that's wonderful. But you didn't go away. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, here is the, the point that you got to deal with. And we all have to deal with it at some time. Okay. You find me? You just start in. But now I want you to notice the consequences. See, most of us think when God tells us something here, we have an option. Okay. I, because I do so many good things here, and I'm not uh, immoral by any means. So, uh, who the God is the one that uh, rejects me, rejects me because of it? Just one moment, please. Now, you have been going before God, you're not God. You make the determination, the determination. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you do it all. Wait a minute. The young man walked away sorrowful. But here's the situation. Do you find. In the account where you got saved after that? Mm. At the end of this audience of Jesus, he went on over to oblivion. My Lord, my Lord. You follow me? Yes, sir. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Now, now, Jesus knew that there was, he had some limitations here. He had some, some pet peeves here <coughs> that uh, he, that, he was holding on to, that made a difference with him, all the difference in the world. And he was not prepared for that, but then Jesus hoping that he would come to himself when he made him aware of it. He's all right then. He was it. Now, if you want to be perfect, if you want to be accessible, if you want to be acceptable here, now you might be so elated over what you have done that you've disregarded this. And I'm doing better than most people. Okay. I'm doing better than those of my equal. You don't judge yourself by yourself, children. God have mercy for me. Now, now, if you really want to be accepted, now I, I'm sure you must have had some, some stringent uh, desires here, and you were loyal to your precepts and all. But look, you now, there's a, there's a point that you have not come to yet that is vital and very consequential. How do you know? What were the consequences? So that's it. Now, uh, he would listen to you. What, he, you know what consecration is all about. You don't have the reservation. What? When you consecration means I have no reservation. I go as far as I have to. I'll suffer what I have to suffer, as long as I have to. All right. There are no limitations. All right. Don't you know the only thing to limit God? I can't go no further than that. I'm not sure about it. Don't, don't you know you're, you're rejecting God? Mm. God, God might call you to do that. He called Paul to suffer. You follow me? He didn't, hear me. Listen, he didn't call him. I mean, what I'm saying now, uh, all this flamboyance and whatnot, that came a little later. He called him a mission. That was his calling. That was what? Well, you still read He got a catalog there of all the things that he suffered. And, and he couldn't, and if he had really reneged on those things, that, that would have been his destiny. He didn't do something. Many of you are going through a lot of things. And we might be applaud you because you go through so many things so successfully. But, you lost. but now, if you if have too many <coughs> regrets here when you come to the problem, my God. Sorry. Oh, God. You, there's, there's a consequential lack here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right, now, 
What do you do? What do you do? We will get this in fact. You pray. Pray hard. All right. Please see what he said. Who is that? I've done this. I've done that. I'm up to this. I made it up right here. For just one moment. Now, where am I taking them? Well, you, 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 you just forfeited. You just forfeited. When I came back, you just forfeited. You're doing well. You know, when I was with that one in uh, South Carolina to preach, and I had, well, I was uh, confirmed, amen, in Atlanta. But I, I was over 10 and a half, and then I'm Charles Charleston. All right? And so, uh, I got there and I sat uh, in the best of you there. And so I stayed there and nobody canceled out for whatever case might be. I was not confirmed. I can only make this somebody else decide nothing. Yes, sir. All right. You follow me? Yes, sir. And so, but now, but I, I knew that I could get to Atlanta because I had my ticket there. I was situated, I was clear. And then, but now I sit there all night long because I was not confirmed. How many of you confirm? Mm. You're sitting there hoping that somebody or something happened that, would, uh, that we did not count upon or what it might be. Your success is predicated upon what somebody else might, might not do. How many are limited, amen, by what others do it? If they do it, I do it. We just go here. They got that way so glad. They went one place. Why got your place here? Maybe they didn't get back. Who can tell me that? Who doesn't know what you got to have and you didn't get back? Lord. Right. How, even how, uh, even there, there, even blistered through the, the, the storm. You know. Don't you know they want to be teaching? God does all that He can to, when He comes to you, show you something, He does about something that's that a slack. He's, he's not coming to the damn condemn you, but He's coming to make you aware of what you want to do to be coming. And there's going, going to be some real some, some friendly situation you got to meet. I mean, uh, wait a minute. And, and we're not in, in, in the scrimmage here. Do we know? What is it? Now, I was noticing here. You notice the consequences here. Uh, this young man, he didn't go any further with it. He sensed that he had limitations here. He became aware of it. And he was not prepared for it. And as far as we know, he went off into darkness because I don't, I don't see where there's anything now he's committed by what he did, what he had done. But now, when he came to this point here where he reneged, you know, I don't find anything else about it. You follow me? So here we go, so here we go, right now. There comes a point, and has come a point. Let me use some history about the church of God. You know why God blessed him so gloriously in the morning time? Oh, what happened? You want this old man. Now, uh, if we are going to be God's church and God's going to manifest himself to us in a real way, I want you, we're going to have to do this. We're going to do all, everything. Yeah. Everything he said. Now, whether our mind is all together understanding, Amen. people might call it fanaticism. Amen. But one thing I got. Now, if God was, it's good yesterday. Wait, wait, wait. You don't do that well. But one thing you lack. You better pray. You better search your, search your own life. What you, and you'll end up like the, like the young man who went to oblivion. What, what is this? What is that? All you'll be called or nothing at all. And I want you all to understand that. And when we demand that, please don't, don't back up on us. Hey, man, please. Don't really deal with us. We only demand what the Word of God demands. You understand? Well, let this, uh, all through the Bible, it has been the same. Uh, let's turn to uh, uh, Exodus 22, uh, 21. All right? All right, come on. Exodus. Thou shalt neither vex a stranger, all right. nor oppress him. Yeah. For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Yeah. Ye shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child. All right. If thou afflict them in any wise, and they cry at all unto me, I will surely hear their cry. Uh -huh. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword. 
and your wives shall be widows, and your children. Thirty-two. Thirty-two verse. You know, I want to get this. I want to get this. Verse thirty-two. Yes, yeah, in chapter. Chapter thirty-two. No, and which verse? One number one. And when the people saw that Moses delayed, Moses delayed. To, to come down out of the mount, yes. the people gathered themselves together right, unto Aaron all right, all right. and said unto him, uh -huh. Up, make us gods, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought wait, wait, us... Wait a moment. Thank God. The God that they knew about and had experienced. Amen. You get it. Uh, Moses was directing them. And Moses delayed. You follow me? Make sure you something for that on God here. <laughs> Moses delayed. And you know what they said? Despite what they seen of God, over the Red Sea, delivering him after that long time of intent captivity. Oh, listen. Alright. Now is the maker of God. Do you know we are dependent beings and we are aware of that? Naturally, by nature, yeah. you're depending on something or somebody. Yes. They lost their, the, the man who told them about their God had, had performed in them, and now they don't see the person who was the leader. And now, to me, that's another God. If you don't trust God, you got another one. That's right. So, yes, you have. Please, that was about to go to it. Amen. 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 Make us one, make us one. Oh, yeah. And guess what he did? Got us, got his earrings and all the jewelry stuff. Like some of y'all had and we got home and saw right now. Come on, you really sit down. Yeah, you're going to depend on something. Whether you admit it or not, whether you recognize it or not, you're going to depend on something or somebody. You were made like that. It's all through the Bible. All through the Bible. Now, let's see, well, now, they, they saw what God had done. Yeah. You follow me? Uh, they knew it was real. And that's why they were so anxious to get another one to replace him. Oh, replacing God? Do one. Do you know what's wrong when you, if you're kidding me, replacing God? God told you what to do, what you depend on. And you're going to do what you want to do. You've got another source. It's pretty hard. I said that that was my spirit about this thing. I'm going to take the place that was God. What did he say to you? And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mountain, yes. the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron come on. and said unto him, Up, make us gods, which shall go before us. For as for this you want, make you had one. Mm -hmm. And he did the same. Mm -hmm. He proved himself beyond question. And now, because there's a little delay here, you got to have something to depend on. Now, you grab whatever you can. Well, you better pray. And pray hard. You thank God. You know what you all? Well, you're nothing at all. <coughs> well, what if, why? Because let's let, let the situation. God is no, no, give no partiality here. Amen. God is you. Amen. You're absolute. All right, pray God with God. What do you say? Go a little more. Up, make us gods, mm -hmm. which shall go before us. Yes. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, yes. we want not what is become of him. Yes. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in your ears. Now I wonder why Aaron acquiesced with that request. You know, that's <laughs> quite questionable. But anyway, but he knew he knew the situation. And he didn't altogether go along with it. And allow the people to push him into it. He let the people put pressure on him, praise our God, and he, and he, and he what, acquiesced with their wishes. And just because he left something, he made something here, and guess what? And, and they, they accepted it. Oh my God. Anybody can leave the real God and accept something else they God. Amen, brother. I don't know who you are, how much you've done, how much you've done, how much you've done, what office you held, praise God, what you've done. You get people to give them go. Can't do it. I can't do uh, uh, Israel. No. I want Joshua 24, 13. My God, Lord. Joshua 24, 13. Come here. All right. 
and I have given you a land for which ye did not labor. Are you praying with me? Come over here. And cities which ye built not. Yes. And ye dwell in them. Yes. Of the vineyards and the olive yards yes. which ye planted not, do you eat? My God, have mercy. Now therefore fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. And serve him in sincerity and in truth. Yes. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side the way, of the flood. What, the what? Put away the gods. If somebody get help, it's a mess to put away. Uh-oh. Put your bed in them on. Oh, come up in it. Put them away. No, just, just put them under the bed. Put them away. Put them away. Oh. What? They wait a minute. Uh, there was a contest here. Uh, Baal against the real, real God here. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, uh, Jack was brought him, amen, to, uh, to a conclusion here. Wait a minute. Now, you are going to read it. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him sin in sincerity yes. and in truth. Yes. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side Wait, of the Now, earth. if you want to have any communication with it all, you were to put it with some mess. I don't care what you think about this and how you say, I've been blessed on you what made me happen, what made me happen. So bad things you gotta put away. I don't mean this for a moment, say I'm sorry, but you gotta put them away. Yeah. Even some of those, even some of those, those unholy feelings, when you see the other effects of demonstrating, you gotta put that away. Or you gotta put it away, but I don't mean for a moment. On one occasion, put away all that the word implies. Come away. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity yes. and in truth. And in truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served. That thing that you've been a praise our God, that they may, you want something here, you depend, you can depend on, under the most dire circumstances. Put it away. Now, wait a minute here now. Are you still going to be contest in your mind who you want God to bail? Bail him? God to bail? Wait a minute here. Put him away. Get rid of him altogether. Okay. God showed me what you're going to do with this God. I don't care what the man says. God got to give God the last say about it. I'm going to listen to him. That's what God came to That's what the, 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 uh, the movement. So the God will the apostasy is what? When they mess around and deviated and, and, and began, it went too far. And so, God wouldn't. That nation brought it here. That's not just God. Put it away. Put it away. That's not just God. It was you. That you almost said, Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Praise our God. Now come on, praise our God. You want to make a horse peel to get in your camp. Now come on, praise our God. You want to make some drastic moves here, please, God. This is no joke. This is no lullaby. This is no side show. Praise our God. This is eternal. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't care. I'm not this is another child. I don't care. Even have a spirit since you're a child. Come on, let's get it right away. But I always, when I was young, I was like that. I always had this high temper. You better put it away. He might try to be ugly, he might have one too. He might use your box for the prison. Come on with him. And put away the gods which your father served. The thing that you're depending on by God is not God, it's not scriptural. Put it away. Well, I'm like, what is the situation? I ain't gonna live one time, I know you're going not as long as you should if you don't do what God says. Okay. Right. You're not gonna be happy, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be confident. And you'll get upset when you can't find it. Come on, praise our God. One fella, the other day, one, one, one fella, he had, he had, he had, uh, he had, uh, 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 one fella. <coughs> and so, uh, he knew how he felt in the other situation deal with it. and he knew that I would not agree with that. He said, but that's me. I'm with you. And we'll see, I'm a little bit over there. What do you mean, I'm a little bit? I'm a little bit over there. I'm a little bit over there. I'm a little bit over there. 
Well, anyway, she came up with him. Because I was, I was negotiating for him here in the situation. He wanted me to make sure that, uh, well, he would make sure that uh, he would see me. And now he would be to see him do it. And he didn't get it. Well, let me 
what this is what he said, this is what the word of God said. Come on. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, yes. choose you this day yes. whom ye will serve. Whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your fathers served, oh, they were on the other side of the flood. Now God's going to bring you to a crossroad. Well, yes, he is too. Now he is okay. See, God is wonderful. He's, he's patient. Amen. And he only does what he puts to do in many cases. And he gives us a uh, time. And, and, and uh, all of the instructions we need, how to pursue it. And now, now we come to go away now. And now, you want to establish what you are in a play no game here. And if you, if, you don't, if you don't like what God said, but then it's a few. That, that, that's your thing. Alright, but now you're going to shoot the day. Mm -hmm. This is your court section. And what you charge, what you have to do with it. You pray that of God. There will be no appeal. There will be no appeal. Pray that of God. The other day, so I was uh, 25 years, and finally it wasn't guilty. They had an appeal, they had an appeal. Not the guilty. But if you put God there, you will you get you will be guilty of an and we're in the hour of God's judgment right now. I'm going to tell you all this. Yes. And when, when, when God judges you, you do it in finality. It's final. It's final for our God. See, now, he doesn't judge you until he knows when to do it. He knows when the time is right. He never going to jump the gun. He knows when to do it. He says, what are you doing? They're playing a game here now. And they're playing a game. So now, uh, I'm going to come to the cross. And you know about Bill, you know about Bill, and you know about God. Amen. You know, you know the situation. Amen. You have experience, you know. Now, you know Bill, you got it. That's your thing. I mean, you got to know the struggle with you all the way, but by your choice, he gave you the ability to choose. And you never struggle. But now, is that what you want? Come on, get it. You may be running out of your nostrils. That you just have to have to run out your nostrils. Well, but rest, but, amen, but the Lord, but rest, but rest, so, amen, he's so handsome. And what else? Well, what is it? That's what you want. You got it. Praise out God. But you know, you know, not be rough, but you're going to be rocky. Come on. Come on. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Yes. Whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, All right. or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. Yes. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Now, you do what you want to do. I'm through with it. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, you're not going to persuade me. If you vote against me, amen, disregard me, do what you please do. But I'm going to serve the Lord. Amen. Now you do what you please, if you're going to the gospel, the ones we are, but now we're going to take it to heaven, and that's the business. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm not struck with the no mess. You can do it if you want to. But if today, you're going to get a choice. I've been talking to you, and I've been reminding you, and showing you what God has done for you, and how you performed in your behalf, and all that kind of thing here. And now you're back and forth. Bail, God, bail, God, no, no, we don't win the game's over. Oh, the game's over. Here's the real one, the game's over. Oh, the real one, the game's over. Oh, the real one, the game's over. I'm going to tell you, the game's over. I'm going to tell you that. No one is saying, amen, another message. Not today. Anyway, what?
before you just take past something superficial. But just today, you're going to make a choice. You're going to change. It's not a temporary thing. I'm going to tell you. It's what? It's eternity. People don't realize they want to what? They don't know. You don't know when your day will come. Today, what do you worry about it? Today, what show you this day? This day! Now I think about it. Now I'm working on it, but today you're going to shoot. God damn it, I'm going to I mean, but, but, but look how long suffering he's been. He's not trying to find a way to condemn you. That's why he's that you suffered so long with us. That's why he tol tolerated so much. Yes, yes. What? He did He did this as a last resort until he had to do it. To be just. God is God. One of the characteristics is justice. He never God. Let's move on over a little bit here. Alright? Uh, uh, give us Exodus chapter 22. Exodus 32. 32? Yeah, man. Exodus 32. In which verse? Yeah. You go uh, about 19. No. 22, 19. Give me the degree. And it came to pass. And get it, get it, get it, come. And it came to pass as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, yeah. that he saw the calf and the dancing. And Moses' anger waxed hot. And he cast the tables out of his hands uh -huh. and break them beneath the mount. All right. No. Did you say 32 or 22? I this one. I have been this one. Yes, a little later. Then this right here.
whatever it costs for. There was a time when you would have done it. But now, you're not doing it. But now, now, it's my turn. You're going to be always doing that talk. If you don't feel like you were at that time, at the, at the top of the mountain, thank God, you. I'm going to move to Kansas State. That's what happened to the Church of God just for this movement. I'm just a real man about what? Amen. Okay, then? Now, there was a time when you give up everything that you had. Anything that was questionable, you get rid of it. You, you put it away. Anything that is questionable at all, that, come on. And you wouldn't make no issue, but I wouldn't discuss when you go home. You make a decision. All right. Now, I will not accept anything that you won't be all, it will be nothing at all. There was a time when you were all. There was a time, amen, nothing left. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Wait a minute. You're going to see that you're going to be all or nothing at all. Listen to what is it? Listen to the language of the word of God. Come on with it. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Thou art fallen. And repent. And do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick you know, out of, out of all place. the churches, this has been disturbing to me. Of all the churches, how many of them do you find repentance? Even though God told me that, you can make get your mind so messed up and amen, off track to that was God, that God didn't write you to keep yourself from call. And what do you mean? What do you mean about it? Mm -hmm. You heart yourself. The Bible says you heart yourself. You heart yourself. And now God can penetrate you. I'm going to tell you the truth. If you got some convictions here, amen, in the cause of the word of God, and on the word of God, and you're going to stand on them, you're going to stand on them. God has this in front of those doors. Sometimes we, you know, we get the crowns around and you know, the sun is shining. We get somebody to testify for that was God. Amen. In the dark. Praise God. What did you, you say? Remember therefore from whence thou art called. Yes. And repent. And repent. And do the first work. Do your first work. Or else. Be lacking like worth the first. We're going to stop it. Amen. We thought you were going to fast yourself to death. We've had to act into it. We've had to stop it from fasting. I mean, they wanted God to grow something, and they had it. And God was able to use them to the a very extreme as it was. We had to stop the voice. I mean, for fair, they, 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 they were able to pray about God. You know what happened? They were asking them to pray. Amen. But they were going to go on the side of fair. And they would make sure that they go to the limit. And before they would uh, break that fair, they fall out. Amen. I mean, and, and we're bragging about it. We're trying to prove the point to nobody. We're trying to prove how fast you are. But God moved on you, and you wouldn't have to rest with this. Be quiet. What do you mean, be quiet, Mr. Lord? We love God. We're going to taste this, God. This is here. All right, you'll be all or nothing. All or nothing at all. You're going to be like you were, and you're going to be nothing at all. I'm going to be That's the Bible. That's the word of God. So listen, you be listen. The chaos, they will give life. Now, the movement, they don't have no life.
we pray for you. Night and day, night and day, we're calling. We all know. So we try to get you up there where you can be accepted. Yeah. I'm going to get you where you can be accepted. You just need to make your own standards. God, help us out here. I'm going to go somewhere else. Come to yourself. Think of it like that. You've been in the Vegas. Where are you going with that again? Therefore, brother, yes. we were comforted yes. over you in all our affliction and yes. distress by your faith. Uh -huh. For now we live if we stand fast in the Lord. Yes. For what thanks can we render to God again for you? Okay. For all the joy wherewith we joy for your sakes before our God. Yes. Night and day. Night and day. Praying exceedingly. Listen, I mean just incessantly. Pray night and day because you will be all or nothing at all. And you got something left in there. And we know the consequences. Come on. Night and day, praying exceedingly that we might see your face and might perfect that which is lacking in your faith. That which is lacking. You understand? You're going to be all or nothing at all. And so we, we, we pray all day and night because you're going to be all or nothing at all. You can't, you can't have stuff here. There can be no half step in your mind. God help us out. Since you got to pray, huh? you, you can't put no game here. The name is the Lord. True. Amen. Amen. This is the real issue. Holy the verdict. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. I mean, I should give one, as you say, we're praying so hard, hard, you know, to uh, have it perfected and get the desired results. You know what I mean? But now, please, our God, let's go on here. I'm doing the best I can. Let's just do with that, 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 that can. God will do the best he can. Oh, yes, he wants to, yes. <laughs> he, 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 I'm, I'm doing the best I can. God can do what he wants to do. And, and he's on your side. Yes, sir. And he'll, and he'll perfect that. Yes. And the same thing God will too. We're concerned about you. We're not criticizing you. We're going to perfect it. Yes. Our, our design is to perfect it. Not to criticize it. You know, God. Thank you for being well. Now, if you stop up here, there's nothing we can do about that. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen, amen. But now this is the situation. Now when God will lead you, you can go on to perfection. Well, he'll lead you there. He won't just throw you out there to do something here and give you no guidelines. God will lead you into it. Now that is what he If you if you if you if you visit him. Professional one consuming desire. You can live in God for a moment. All right. God helps out here. It's God. Now, God, here we are. We will never live this moment again. There might be some similarity, but not this particular one. Amen. This is going to go on, this is going on with eternity. Amen. Have never been, uh, what is this, uh, June the 3rd? With my, I'm behind. Never lived in before 20, 20, 17, 17. You won't have this no more. They thought you didn't live like it. Amen. You'll never witness this again. You can say it all. No, I don't say it all the time either. Because I know that's right. Now it's surely here. Here we are. We got it in the heart. We got it in the heart. Now here we are, Sister Todd. Now that we think we're amen there, like some of them say already, well then of course, you know, you know, you said the first time. I, I, I need no help. I'm fine. I'm I got you. You just have to get it. Amen. I don't know if you don't know how to But I'll see something else. Listen. When Acts chapter 5, just one more, one, two verses there. Amen. Acts 5, come on. Which verse? <clears throat> but a certain man named Ananias and Sapphira, his wife, yes. sold a possession and kept back part of the price. Mm -hmm. His wife also being privy to it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. Mm -hmm. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? Whilst it remained, was it not thine own? For yours. And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Right. Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? 
Thou hast not Don't say freedom of God, you've done it and then you know you haven't done it. Don't say you're there when you're not there. Amen. Okay. That don't sound like criminal, because he gave some. Wait a minute, Peter. But you're indicating by your testimony your involvement that I'm there. I'm there. God never missed upon you. You say it was yours, and then when you say it was yours, you didn't have to do it at all. You didn't testify about it, preach about it, or shout saying about it, you didn't have to do that. There was a few. They had an option. Come on with it. Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words. What do we put there? The, uh, the other meeting was this. All right. We, you all, are nothing about it. And he gave all. God said, you got to do it all. And you told him part of it. And now, and but you act like you did that. Why? Because you can make that you can make it. 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 You can Go ahead. All right, please. Now, children, this is a glorious moment. This is a glorious moment. Don't take off the ground because he's brought us through such moments before. Not in that right there. Please, God help me. Now, if you want to help, that's why we're here. We are here to give you hope. We we'll make you aware of what we're dealing with. Because we, we, cannot, we cannot be wrong about this. Nothing more to help. You may stand.